Responsive layout with Flutter 2. To work with responsive layout, you will need to have three different columns in your project. The items column, the description, and the drawer. As you can see, if you go inside the tablet mode, you will have only two columns, and in mobile mode, you will have one column, so the items. So how are we going to do that? First, we will start our application from the beginning when we have only one column and it is the mobile column. The purpose for this responsive layout is when we expand our screen, we want to put one, two or three columns depending on the size of the screen. First step, the responsive layout. So now let's add the responsive layout. We will add this stateless widget Inside, we will call the iPhone, iPad, and MacBook. After, we will need to add the iPhone limit and the iPad limit. So where are we going to display another column? With this, we can create our Boolean is iPhone. So if it is under the iPhone limit, we can create as well the is iPad Boolean that will be between the iPhone limit and the iPad limit. And with that, we can create as well the is MacBook Boolean. This will be over the iPad limit. Inside the layout builder, we will say if the max width is under the iPhone limit, then return the iPhone. If we are under the iPad limit, return an iPad and otherwise return a MacBook. Second step is to use the responsive layout. Now we can go back inside our widget tree and add the responsive layout. We can remove our old body and create our new one with the responsive layout. First, we have the iPhone that will return the e-commerce items, the iPad that will return a row and the MacBook as well. In the iPad, we will return first the e-commerce items and we will return as well the item description. In the MacBook, we will return both of them, so the commerce items and the description, and we will add as well the drawer. Then we will need to have the size with the media query, and this size will allow us to say, by example, if the size of the screen, the width, is under 900, then it will be the flexible 5.5. That's mean it will be a 50-50, between the item description and the items. Otherwise, if it is over the 900, we will have a 40-60 ratio. We will use the same logic for the MacBook. If we are over 1340, we will display 372 with the ratio. Otherwise, we will return another ratio. Congratulations, the big chunk of the code has been done and now we will need to do some maneuver in order to finish this responsive app. What we will do now is add the drawer if we are inside the mobile or the tablet mode because we will need to access it. We will need to make sure that this button for the drawer will not be accessible for the desktop. Let's find and go inside the e-commerce items.dart file. And now we will add our drawer icon button inside your application, available only with mobile and tablet mode. So let's start this. If we go inside our application, as you can see, we have the drawer button on the mobile. If we go on the tablet mode, we have it as well. And then if we go inside the desktop mode, we cannot see it. The next step will be to add a color inside the current selected item, but only in tablet and desktop mode. Here we go. As you can see right now, the current selected item is now blue. But if we go inside the mobile mode, it will be the same color as the other items. Okay, let's add two more things. 
We can then go inside the e-commerce drawer and what we will add is a button to close the drawer. We will open the drawer and as you can see, we have the close button. We can close it by clicking somewhere else or by clicking the close button. And if we go inside web mode, we will not see this button because we have told Flutter, show me this button only if I am not inside the web mode. Next, we will add the back button and the icon print. Let's refresh our application and go back inside it. If we go inside the web mode, we will see that we have the print icon. If we shrink down to the tablet mode, we will not see it anymore. And what else we have is if we click on an item inside the web mode, we will be able to come back. But if we are inside the mobile mode, we will need a back button. And this is exactly what we have just created. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. And now you know how to use a responsive layout with Flutter for web, tablet or mobile application. That was it. Thank you. See you on the next one. Bye. You have the choice. The blue pill. The red pill. Will you subscribe?